Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new save file. New save file, I'm just in Isaac mode. I have Nuclear Throw and Ultra, we're jumping in again this time. We're gonna go as Elementor once again. I do like his stronger abilities thing. Um, and starting off with the flare gun as this guy, considering we have stronger fire, it's pretty gnarly. It's pretty amazing. Um, and it allows us to essentially just dominate the early floors, which I very much like. Um, so, very good start here. We're gonna go with Rhino Skin right off the bat, because why wouldn't you? It's just too good not to. But yeah, um, starting off with this guy, considering we have bonus fire, is really nice. We can also build with this guy too, which is nice. I can't remember how we unbuild, to be honest. Okay, it just fades away. That's fine. We can also build... I, uh, I wouldn't use it often, I don't think, if at all. But I, there's, there's some bosses and stuff that I guess it could be pretty useful on. Like Dragon and, and potentially actually the Throne itself as well could be a, a good contender to use this on. There's a few. There's a few. We'll take the shotgun as well here, because why not? Um, and I'm going to take Power Craving because we want elements on our weapons. So that's a, a very good way to guarantee some elements here and there. Even if it's not an elemental weapon. Just because it will gain fire or whatnot on from time to time. I mean, look at that. We basically one-shot that guy. Not normally plausible with a flare gun, so... Showing of this thing's true power. I mean, there's a Kraken weapon there, which I will certainly take. And it's a Kraken with explosive on it as well, so... Probably going to be pretty gnarly. I, I'm liking this already. I'm having fun. I'm having a good time. I do just love, like, blasting into some nuclear throne on occasion and just having an absolute blast. It's it's one of my favorite things to do. Just, like, th this game's one of my, like, if I'm feeling like I just need a chill game to kill stuff in, do you know, like, playing Call of Duty Zombies or, like, a Zombies Horde mode game? It's kind of that sort of vein of fun where you just jump on and mindlessly kill stuff for a little bit um, and then, yeah, you jump off later. It's, it, just, it just works. Um... I'm going to take Plutonium Hunger right now. Not particularly for right now. It's mainly because it's going to be good later, but it's good to have nonetheless. Right. We want to put Herming on this bad boy. Why not? I don't know how useful Herming will be on this, but why not have it? Why not have it? I mean, th this, yeah, this, this gun's just a ludicrous weapon to get from the start. What weapon have we got here? Oh, Kraken Gun's also explosive, technically. Didn't know that. Two of the same ammo type weapons, which isn't always the best decision, but we're doing okay. Is the end of the stage? Oh, no, it's not. Really? I think what I did there is I fired my Kraken weapon, um, and subsequently firing that Kraken weapon triggered the explosion, which I didn't realize could damage me, but apparently if it's directly on top of you, it very much can. Um, so that was a bit of a sad way to perish so early. Straight through here. Level 2 with a good weapon is kind of insane. Um, trigger Fingers is, is quite a lot of fun. We'll take Trigger Fingers. I mean, it's better late game than it is early game, but it still it can hold up early game, so I won't, won't be upset about having it. Good, good. Kind of don't want to hit enemies directly. Hitting enemies directly kind of stops the fire spreading out as far and makes the gun... I wouldn't say weaker, because it still does good damage to that enemy, but AoE-wise, it makes it weaker. Um, we will take this as well. Ooh, that's a really cool new effect. That's definitely new. There we go. Does make this weapon thingy now. Um, cursed. We'll come down here anyways. And, yeah, let's slap resources out of enemies, and we'll take extra survival as well. This is a good weapon to have on this stage, because there's a lot of enemies, so the fire spread is going to be rather useful, I would think. Yeah, I really like that slapping resources thing. It's, it's pretty nice. We've got Big Boy here. Little, little old shark man. I'm going to try and get in there and take care of the more annoying enemies first. Got to remember these uh, pickups do explode if we don't pick them up in time. It could potentially get us hurt if we're not careful. Pop shot is good because we get bonus to freezing damage and stuff. Oh, I do not like the, uh, the teleporting around that gives us lovely stuff. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. 
yeah, pot shot's pretty good here because um, freezing and fire elements that we get bonuses to. And we can uh, collect two guaranteed rerolls. Nice. I like two guaranteed rerolls. I do and do. So far, the flare gun's too good. Um, thrown butt. 33% cheaper teleport your walls. Uh, if if that affects the elemental damage, then oh, I'd be going for it, but sadly it doesn't. I will take back muscle for this weapon so I can occur more and more ammo with it. I think that's going to be useful. Not that it's too important right now. Later down the line, will be good. These guys breathe fire, yet they're so susceptible to my fire damage. What's that about? America, explain. Okay. There we go. Um, I think I'm going to go with Rabbit's Paw, considering we've got back muscle. Oh my god, that is a lot of cars. Luckily, they are all able to be destroyed very, very swiftly. My goodness. <laughs> I love that slap. It's so comical. It's just It just looks so silly. Get rid of all these goddamn cars. Okay, we destroyed that before we wanted to, but that's fine. I think the slap does actually do some physical damage as well to the enemy. It's not just for resources. Like it maybe seems. Ooh, goddamn. The cars. Man, the cars. Slap that resource. Now we need Plutonium Hunger again. Now I've got Rabbit's Paw and these slaps for resources. That could be re I think resources also counts as rads, by the way. I don't think it's just ammo and HP. There you go. I don't take back muscle as much as I used to. I used to be an avid... An avid back muscle enjoyer. Lightning's going to be really good for us here. Cool. Still think we're, we're rolling with the flare gun though for now. I will take that considering we just got the um, lightning crossbow. I think that's going to be very, very good with our extra potent um, lightning damage. With homing and everything, it's, it's actually pretty amazing. Beautiful stuff. Give me that ammo. Slapping through walls. Shit is real when you're slapping through walls. Is this it? That is it, yeah. Got a curse weapon there, box gun. I don't know what's going to be best against this guy, to be honest. I think a mix of both might be our best bet. Yeah, seemed like it. Good, good. Yeah, box gun isn't exactly going to be needed right now. More cars there. Holy shit. <laughs> there is a lot happening right now. I, I genuinely don't know how I'm not dead. That was that was a wild ride right there. <laughs> I just stepped into the, the den of all evil with all those spider walkers. There's so many spider walkers on this stage, what the hell? It's kind of ludicrous. I think the crossbow is definitely our safer option. Because we don't need to be as accurate with it with the herming. And the electricity. I mean, all of it reduces our need to be accurate. Okay. Ho oh, doggy, that was a bit insane. Now, it's taking three shots to kill the spider walkers, which I'm not a fan of. Thought it would have been quicker than that. Bounce away of crossbow. I think it's going to be better even though it doesn't have lightning attached to it, to be honest. Especially with that extra ammo we've got going on. I'll be going for this. Yeah, cl clearly that's better. It just shows how much extra fire damage it's really giving us. Um... Increased by 35% of full HP. Second stomach could also be real good. Let's take second stomach, I think. 
Not going to take a thingy yet, although I probably should have done, actually. But then again, we don't really need any more golden weapons as this guy, so it's not much point getting the ultra chests one. Maybe I should have taken a crown there regardless, I don't know. How I'm not taking insane damage right now is beyond me. Just, I don't know how. Auto splitter gun. Splinter gun, sorry, not splitter. I think the bounce wave should things better, to be honest, even though... Uh, they're the same tier, actually. They are the same tier. This should be about as good. There's a little bit of variance there. They're not always going to be exactly on par with one another. Yeah, two shots compared to three um, shots with the lightning ones. Pretty good. Cuba revolver. that shoot through walls. Good, but the, the, the Cuba revolver, I don't think it does a ton of damage. It just has an advantage over being able to stay safer, but... I'm pretty happy with where we're rolling right now. That it? There you go. On to the cursed land. Oh my god, he hit me. Probably want to use our bouncer wave bad boy for a little bit here. I mean, the ammo consumption on this thing is pretty nutty. So we do have to be wary of how much ammo we're needing to use. I mean, the slap's killing stuff for us anyways. Can we get the, the shots inside the room? I want them in, please. Thank you. We've got to bugger this guy off as well. Auto crossbow. It is... Uh, it's actually one level lower. That was a pretty good shot, my guy. He got me stuck there. Second stomach, though, is going to bring us back to full. And we're already at level 9. Where art thou, last enemy? Okay, that was the last enemy. Level 9... <sighs> I've still never been able to use this effectively. Includes things like flamethrowers, bows. Hmm. Burst weapons fire 50% more. Includes flamethrowers, bows, lasers, iron cannons, double shotguns, splinter guns. So technically this would fire more shots. I'm going to try it and see if it fires more arrows. I don't know if it will. It definitely does. Now, I think it still uses ammo for every shot it fires, though, regardless, which is to be expected. Trying to save as much um, arrow ammo as I can for the boss. I'm trying to kind of ignore the boss for now, and then get to the boss a little later. There you go. That actually worked out pretty well. Cool. Almost at our max level. I can't remember what our ultras are for this character. I might not have seen them before. I think I have, though. I can't remember them, though, either way. Okay, he's sucking me in, but not doing a, a mighty good job of it, to be fair. God, this has been a beautiful run so far, though. As I said, not really used the wall building at all. It's just... I, I don't use second abilities in Nuclear Throne all that much anyways, but one especially for building walls just isn't really my style. I guess I could use it in situations like that there to, like, make sure I don't take some damage I would have otherwise taken, but... I'm not going to worry about that. Not quite max level yet. I think that was an ultra crossbow there that I just walked past, unfortunately. There's our ultra baby. Good, good. Oh my god, I can't believe the just elemental damage that we're putting out is beautiful. The fact that you can stick with a base gun all this way and it still be killing stuff in a reasonable amount of time is just masterful. We get to go through here as well. Oh, here we go. Okay. Your active changes into wind push. Wind pushes projectiles and enemies enemies hit into a wall to take more damage. Throw them, but makes the wind stronger. Um, cools everything near you. Ice cold walls. 
Um, fire trail, more fire damage, fire homes. I mean, we've got to take that, haven't we? Um, and lightning and kraken are mixed occasionally produce lightning and kraken. Um, when using lightning weapons, gain explosive ammo. When using kraken weapons, gain energy ammo. That's also really cool, but we have to go for burning hot. It just, it goes too well with what we've got going on right now. Okay, let's see if we want a, a crown here. Would we like a crown of any sort? Let's see. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Resources fade faster but are worth more. When opening a chest and gain radiation, we definitely don't need that. Ammo chests only. Die and be reborn. Unlock alternate alternative ultra mutations. Kind of scary. Higher chance for inverted portals is kind of fun. Double ammo cost at the end of each area gain some ammo. Whenever you run out of ammo, your crown summons a tiny kraken. That seems... strange? I'm gonna try that. That seems strange. Double ammo cost is a little bit scary though, I will say. But overall, that seems good. But yeah, we can technically do this. It's not super useful because we can't shoot past it, but if we had like a Cuba revolver or something like that, Ah, I tried to get the goddamn ammo. Ah, man. I got too greedy, man. I got too greedy. I tried to get the ammo. I didn't really need it. Look at my ammo. Ugh. What a stupid way to die. What a stupid way to die. I kind of want to build towards that Kraken one, though. Maybe we can get some Lightning and Kraken weapons um, and try and take them to our Ultra and use that. Oh, I just missed it. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to restart and try and grab that the big mouth off of the bat here. Just depends if we are quick enough to get enough rads to to get in there and level up, which we didn't quite there. I always want to try and get in here and level up if you can. It's not always plausible. Amazing stuff. Got up to level 3 already. Um, power craving again. <laughs> I'm going to try Eagle Eye with this and just see if it like does anything to the fire. It doesn't seem to. I didn't think it would, but... Eagle Eye, you get a bit of herming, so it's not all bad. The better accuracy is good for some other guns as well. It's not like just for this. Oh, really? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, scarier face. We'll go for that extra damage. Oh, that's morph, not kraken. I mean, let's take explosive. We know it's dangerous, but let's give it a go. Uh, let's see if we can take a crown off the bat. That's going to be really good. I, I was thinking maybe of going with um, with which one was it? Take damage when opening a chest and gain radiation. Early on, it seems risky, but that might be really good. Double director shotgun there. With bouncer on it as well. To boot, I like that. Um, Turnium hunger seems good here. Does fire destroy poison? I, swear, I, I seemingly remember that being a thing, and I think it just happened there. Oh, 
quite a ways to go before the enemy. In fact, is this like last few enemies already? No, okay. It was just telling me where the enemies were. We definitely need something that's going to heal us more if we're, we're doing this, though. Um, second stomach for that extra healing. Okay, got to be very careful about the... Oh, my God. Just what am I meant to do there? I find that stage, the jungle stage, particularly very, very difficult because of those enemies that have just way too much range. I don't, I don't know if they're vanilla or modded. I'm pretty sure they're vanilla, but... They just have insane range for what they are. Cool. Level 2 already into an inverted area as well. Um, Let's take impact wrists this time. I feel like it could be fun with the fire and stuff. Having the fire blast everything everywhere. I don't exactly know what's going on down there right now. There's a lot of and a lot of shots coming from over there that I didn't really see the origin of. And into here as well. Swarm, I'll take. Why not? I'll take a different crown this time. I don't know which one. Let's have a little look see. Um Rabbit's ports go for that. I'll we'll try to take crowns a little bit more. What's some of the good early game crowns? Faster projectiles, everyone moves slightly faster. 70% um, higher any HP and ammo drops when above 75% max. Well, that doesn't help for HP, does it? Um, enemies can hit each other. Take double damage, increase the value. See, that's this is one that I feel like if you can if you can play to its strengths. Getting to, like, higher levels early, like, by doubling your, uh, rads, seems like it could be real good. It just, it's very risky is all. Right, let's try and take out the actual rest of the enemies first, before we deal with that guy. Ow. Where's the man, the myth, the legend? He's going to fire a bunch of explosive shots from me from, from nowhere, isn't he? Cool. And then you're here as well. Hello, good sir. Yeah, I think this could be a good way of, of playing the game for a little while. Also, it trains us to not take as much damage because we're taking double. Um, yeah, second stomach as well. We're taking double, we have to be a bit more careful about what damage we do take, and when. In fact, this would go re really well with Tough Shell as well. And Tough Shell's always good late game anyways, even when we get rid of this crown. That could be fun. Yeah, it's a qu nice quick way to level up this. Um, Gamma Gut. So all of these are kind of meh. Let's go with Ecstatic Fists. I know we're not at full health right now, so it's not any use to us currently. But it, we'll get there. What are, what are you guys doing? Okay, that worked out fine. Okay, now we're at full HP as well. Getting that double damage. Micro, SMG. I don't think we need that, thank you. Oh, we can shoot through through those with fire. That's nice to know. Right, in through here. And... We don't have scarier face at the minute, do we? No, we don't. Um, Puffy Cheeks for preemptive reloading. Splinter. Splinter plus Swarm on this seems like an interesting idea. Oh, 
Okay. Assassin there, sneaking in. Yeah, this is working out real nicely. Splinter plus swarm. I like it. Oh my lord, the beautiful damage that we just put out into the world there. I like that a lot. Just a slugger? Really? You're going to drop just a slugger? Nice. We're keeping a bar at ammo consumption as well at a really good pace. Our ammo's not really running out at the moment. Beautiful stuff. We're up to level 8 already. Um, trigger fingers seems good here. I was a fire a bit quicker in certain areas. I actually think the splinter and stuff is really saving us here. This is kind of sketchy going through here. So I, I very rarely remember what the um, inverted versions of the bosses and stuff do in this stage. I'm sure it's going to be kind of scary. Oh my lord. Frost, um, yeah, I think we'll go with Frost. Fire and Freeze seems like a, a good combination. Right, the boss here, I remember, being pretty tricky, so let, let's, let's be careful. In fact, I think we go as far as taking Strong Spirit just in case. Yeah, we got it. Right, now we want to be, we want to be getting rid of our, uh, our crown as soon as possible here. Stages like this, we can die very, very easily. I mean, we just took six damage from a single hit there. Whatever these shots are, are doing insane damage. They're new, aren't they, those shots? There's another in in inverted area here, but I think that would be a terrible mistake. We've hit our ultra. Um, the fire's just... I don't know. The fire ones just seems like too good. and We've not got anything lightning based at the minute. Did we go to the inverted area? I think we did, yeah. Get some HP there. Let's try and grab it. Are you kidding me? Oh, we'll have to leave the episode there, I think. But... What a shame. Th those bullets, whatever these are, do insane damage. There was a health right there and I was trying to grab it. If only I had plutonium hunger. But that was a fun one though. I think I'm definitely going to use that strategy more in the future because it seems just really good. Hope you guys enjoy though and I'll see you guys in the next one.